Hello, my name is Gary with HaveFunWithScience.com and today's presentation is on air inversion. By the way, since matches are needed in this experiment, so is adult supervision. This jar came out of the oven at 170 degrees. This jar came out of the freezer. Let's put the cold jar on top and see what happens. Notice that the smoke is going up into the cold jar. Now let's reverse it. This time the cold bottle is going to be on the bottom and the hot jar is going to be on top. Notice that this time all the smoke lingers in the bottom jar. None of it goes to the top jar. Notice that when the cool jar is on the bottom, the smoke is trapped in the bottom jar. It cannot rise to the top jar. Here's more video showing that the smoke is trapped in the cool jar. It cannot move to the hot jar. Now let's switch back to the warm jar on the bottom. Notice that when the warm jar is on the bottom and the cool jar is on top, the smoke travels from the warm jar to the cool jar. So why does the smoke go from the warm jar to the cool jar? Well, smoke rises as the warm, lighter air rises, and the cold, more dense air sinks. But when the warm air is trapped above the cold air, the smoke is trapped with the cool air. The smoke cannot rise up and the hot air cannot sink down. This is called an air inversion and this is what happens in big cities. When big cities get filled with smog, the hot air is above the cool air and the cool air has all the smoke and smog from the city and it lasts for days until the wind finally comes and blows the smog away.